Hello everyone, my name is Grillanux and today I'm going to teach you how to use Insane's 3D Viewer. So for the past few months, Insane worked on a software that allows us creators uh, to easily work uh, on skins for MX bikes. Uh, because usually when, one, when you want to make a skin, you have to export it as a TGA, you need to uh, pack it as a PNT, you need to reload it into your game, it takes a lot of time. Now with his software, it's very easy and very fast to work on skin. So, the first thing you want to do is to go on mxbmods.com. It's the easiest way to download the software. So right now, uh, because I'm shooting this video, we are October 7th, so the post is still on the front page, but it's gonna change in the future. So to be sure to find it, you just need to type 3D Viewer, and boom, there is a result. So you click on it, and there is a bunch of instructions, the, tr the video trailer that I made. It explains um, what you can find inside the software. Uh, so we go to the bottom and we click on download. There we go. So we're going to put it into a folder called um, 3D Viewer on the, on the desktop. So it's easier for us to find it. Boom. And I can just hit save. There we go. So now we can go to the desktop and see that the software is actually inside the zip. So I export that .exe over here. And well, so I can remove the zip. We don't need it anymore. And we can execute the .exe. So for now it works for me perfectly, but I know for some people, sometimes you can have like uh, hero messages. He detailed uh, all those behaviors that can app happen um, over there. So just follow what he says, basically. Okay, so now inside the software, so how does it work? On the left side, you can choose the model you want to work with. So you've got the Alta, the Andrew Gas Gas, the Honda, Huzerberg, a ton of bikes to have fun with. And you also have uh, the rider, uh, some rider position to well show your rider gets. So that's very cool. And on the right side, you have some, um, how can I say that, aesthetic features. <laughs> Uh, with different cameras, you can change the position, you can change uh, the rotation of the model, you can do pretty much everything with that. Okay, uh, but as you can see, if I go, for example, on the Husqvarna, okay, so let's load the Husqvarna. So as you can see, uh, there is the, the bike over there. And I can only add textures because those green screens, uh, sorry, those green squares um, mean the diffuse texture. So we can't add normal map because we are not premium yet. So I'm going to show you how to become a premium user. So in order to do that, just click on the, on the pop-up at the bottom of the screen. It says, hey, Antoine, because that's my computer name. Don't worry, he's not hacked your private data. Uh, this project was, was more custom, blah, 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 blah. So he, he asked for at least five euros so to unlock uh, background images and the normal maps, which is honestly the most important thing. Uh, so you click on the ID below. So it's copied and we click on donate. If you click send, it's gonna tell, ask you to connect to your account. So you just type in your, uh, your mail address and your password. Here we go. And now, as you can see, we can't pay. The, 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 the bottom is locked. So you need to pass your code as the note over there. 
boom and now you can actually pay the five euros from paypal there we go claim license thank you so much for the donation this means a lot to me if everything is correct your license will be updated after clicking the button below enjoy the software claim wonderful we are actually premium so if you click here it's gonna hide the pop-up and that's it we're premium so as you can see we've unlocked a few features such as a normal map which is that uh, purple square we've unlocked um the auto rotate which well auto rotate <laughs> Your, uh, your model, uh, the background, so you can choose a color like that. So it's as you wish, obviously, um, or a picture like that one. So yeah, it really depends on what you want to do. Uh, so let's go back to transparent and let's go to the Husqvarna bike. Okay. All right, so now we need to get our textures into the 3D viewer. So, uh, MX bikes, you know it, use, use TGA uh, for textures, but that software only use PNG. So, uh, I have Photoshop opened, like the TGA I made, and I'm gonna export them as a PNG. So, easiest way to do it, you go to File, Export, export under perhaps or export as <laughs> I don't I don't really know um, then you've got that window that shows up you click on transparency and then you're good to go you click export and you select the folder you want to put it so I have created a folder for that PNG save there we go we can close that we are going to do the same thing over here. There we go. So the normal map for the normal map, you just have to export it just like your TGA. Okay, no need to invert uh, the green channel or anything. Just, just, just like you want to do. You would want to do. Oh, you will do. I don't know. <laughs> so livery underscore n. And we're going to export the middle as well. So export it. Export as transparency. And export. Yes. Okay. Now we can go back to our software. Hello, Mr. Software. And we can just texture the our skin. So uh, you need to uh, guess, in a way, what texture is. So plastic means all of that. So for example, if I had everything else, now you see what plastic is. Uh, you've got the metals, which is that, and yada yada. So I'm gonna use the texture of my plastic. There we go. But as you can see, the normal map is still the base one. Like, well, yeah, we can see that here. The Husqvarna logo is still there. So I'm gonna import my, my normal map. The normal map takes a bit of time because he basically transform your texture so the 3D viewer can read it just like MX bikes will read it. Don't bother <laughs> understanding, just just do the thing like you will do for the game and it will work. There we go. And now I can import my normal map. Uh, sorry, my middle parts. And there we go. We got a bike. Wonderful bike with the normal map, as you can see over there. Um, so you get some f uh, settings under, under that. So for example, you can play with the rough roughness. So it's more shiny or not. It can be useful, you know, to uh, see the normal map. Like if you try to add details, you can really see them pop. Uh, it's just it's just to in order to see because it's a viewer. It's not a, it's a software to export anything. Um, yeah, so you can do the same thing with the middle part. Look at that. It's shiny. <laughs> uh, 
Um, okay, so now that you've done this, um, let's go to the right side. So as I showed you, you can uh, change it, the, the background. You can also use the color of the background because if I go on that one, for example, you see the color change, right? Like it's, it's more uh, contrasted, I would say. But if I use the color of the contrasted thing, it works. So you can see a tiny bit of green because it's supposed to be in the forest. So it's up to you to use whatever you want. Uh, so i show you this, which you can rotate the bike. It can be useful if you want, for example, to take a look um, below it. So if I hide the stand up, there we go. So let's, let's make it back to normal. Uh, you can press the that button to reset the position of the bike. There we go. And here we've got a bunch of camera settings. So if I click here, it's going to do this. Okay. If I click this, 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 it's basically a yeah, camera settings. So for example, you can, you know, you always, you always have the same angle if you want to do multiple bikes. Um, yeah, that one is very cool on the front plate. And that one is very cool. <laughs> Uh, the FOV is the zoom, which is the, the mouse wheel. I didn't say that, but it's... Yeah, I didn't say how to move. I apologize. So, mouse wheel to move, uh, right, left click to uh, to move around like that, and right click to pan like that. All right. Uh, you can remove the shadow of the model, as you can see. And you can... Uh, like on the, uh, on the on the insane logo, you can auto rotate, which is great for. Let's say you record the the three D viewer, you get rid of the overlays, like that per se, and um, you can like make a very cool cinematic effect. Also, one thing that is very cool is the steer. So, uh, for example, if I do steer right and I click here, it will do this, which is amazing. If I click again, it will do this. Now, if I click again, and then I go left, and I click here, oh, it works. Oh, he fixed, he fixed. <laughs> okay, so because in all the betas that we tested, uh, if we will like, go from the right steer to the left, the it will be like half, uh, and it will look weird. But yeah, he fixed it, so wonderful. And you can also do this. So it's a play button and it will do it indefinitely. You can pause it at any time you want. So yeah, you're pretty much free with that. Oh yes. Uh, yeah, see it's a bit it's a bit broken if you play with the with those. Uh, so I advise you to only only uh, do the this one, but it's up to you once again. Uh, When you are happy with the result, you can take a screenshot. So there is two button. This one uh, is a square screenshot. So perfect for Instagram, you can see the border. So uh, normal 2K and 4K. And that one takes a full uh, width. So uh, like the size of your screen, basically. Uh, so let's, let's take a 4K screenshot. Okay. The screenshot will be uh, download it into your uh, download folder on your computer. You can open it. And voila. It's wonderful. It's it's 4K. And your bike looks amazing. There we go. Okay, so in order to update a texture you've already used, let's go to... Uh, all folder real quick. Let's open the livery with Photoshop. There we go. So that's the PNG. We can close those. Um, let's say if I paint with purple because it's cool. So I'm gonna do 
my number. Okay, same here. Hey, that's a very cool number, actually. I might use it for real races. Uh, there we go. Wonderful. And a smiley over there because it's funny. Um, so we need to export the, the image once again. So export as PNG. S delivery. So I'm 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 exporting from the PNG, but it can it can be from the PSD. You know what I mean? All the TGA, it's up to you. I'm just showing you how to uh, update the picture. Because right now, as you can see, it's still the same bike. But if I select the texture once again, it will not be updated. Wonderful. And that's a cute face. Well, I think that's it for the software. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, really don't hesitate to donate to Insane. He did a wonderful job. Uh, it took a lot of time, I can tell you that. And also, it will probably motivate him to release the goddamn OEMs. <laughs> All right, uh, have a good one, have fun, and see you for the next tutorial. Bye.